All right, so just parked at a local park here in my neighborhood. I'm actually heading over to pick up a couple of essentials at the grocery store, but a couple of things showed up in the mail today. One, got this little pamphlet from the government of Canada from Health Canada, and uh, they are giving us some tips on how to social distance, some symptoms to look out for, the contact information if you have any of those symptoms or any questions. And uh, so that came. And the other thing that came in the mail today was a package from China. So interestingly enough, a lot of the brands that I've been dealing with for quite a while and some new brands too have sort of been pumping their brakes on their Kickstarter campaigns and that sort of thing. The companies out of China are just getting going again. There was actually two brands, two Chinese-based brands, uh, one which is here today and one that's on the way that uh, just reached out last week. So I think things are starting to sort of get back to normal over there. The brand that we're going to be looking at today is from the company Mercure. They reached out, actually start, they started reaching out in August of last year. They were working on a project for a sport chronograph and uh, it wasn't quite ready then. And when they were about to send it out, it was sort of when the whole virus situation kicked in. So they just went uh, black. I never heard a word from them for quite a few months and didn't expect to, but they reached out about a week and a half ago and uh, sent out one of their latest watches. I'm going to be doing an unboxing here in a few minutes of the watch. I actually know very little about this watch. It's not up on their site yet. Uh, it's not, uh, there, I don't have the specifications on the watch, so I'm kind of winging it. I did send an email out to one of the owners of the company Hopefully they get back to me today with a little bit more detail on the watch. I have the price and that sort of thing and actually a discount code for you guys for anybody that might be interested in the watch. But if you're unfamiliar with Mercure, they are uh, popular or famous for doing Seiko homages. They've, I, I've actually had two, I believe they were two tunas that I've had on the channel. There might have been another one, but really high quality Seiko homages. They also do Marine Masters, Turtles, that sort of thing. But this one is kind of a standalone alone watch. I think it's its own thing. I don't recognize it from the pictures they sent out as it being an homage of anything. But before we get to the unboxing, I got to do the run to the grocery store. It's actually my wife and my uh, anniversary today. So I'm going to pick up a couple of essentials. I'm also going to maybe pick up some of my wife's favorite sweets since it's our anniversary. We were supposed to be sitting on a beach right now in Panama. This would have been, I think, our fifth day of our trip. That's obviously been canceled postponed hopefully we get to do the trip later towards the end of this year but uh, so let's go to the grocery store we'll take a look at what's going on in there and go back home for the unboxing okay so quiet here this is where they would have you normally lined up to help people keep space from one another I'm actually kind of surprised how quick they got this all set up in here with the taping areas up and everything, but got somebody in here I know that washes the carts down for you. Got signs here everywhere. All right, there's a bit of toilet paper today. Lots of these limit of two items only signs. Hopefully you guys aren't too bored of my uh, grocery store trips. I've made a lot of them on the channel, but it's basically either home or the grocery store lately. All right, so back in the car. And one of the things that is blowing my mind with this whole situation is... Um, Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder and I see that I'm hand talking. I got to get a, a handle on that. But um, one of the things that's blowing my mind is just how quickly this is all happening. Things are changing on a daily uh, basis, even on an hourly basis. But the cool thing is, is how quickly people and companies are adapting to the situation. 
they are really organized in the grocery store. I spoke with one girl and they have plexiglass dividers on the way for high traffic areas for uh, protecting the cashiers and people like that. So that's really good that they're doing that. I know some other grocery stores have already implemented that. So that's just really nice to see that people are putting their best foot forward and really trying to uh, make things better and get through this uh, all the quicker. But so that's it on that kind of talk. Let's get back home and check out to watch all right so again just a disclosure i have very little information on the watch as far as the material specs i don't even know the case size of the watch right at the moment i'm hoping that mercure gets back to me here today or tomorrow and i will try to update you guys maybe through the description below i'll also be doing a full video on the watch which i won't do until i have all of the information so you can look out for that but i wouldn't normally do an unboxing with so little information but it's uh really some slow times around the house here right now for me and i'm sure for you guys so this is killing a few minutes for me and maybe uh kills a couple of minutes on your end there too so let's get into the watch this isn't my sharpest knife but just working with what we got here Sometimes you just got to manhandle these things, I guess. They double layered me. Okay. Okay, so at least I have something else on my to-do list here. And that is sharpening my knife. Actually, maybe I'll uh, do a sharpening of all of my knives. But let's get in here a little deeper. Yeah, that's interesting that it's zip tied. I have never seen anything quite like that. Now this is really going to test my knife here. I do have the serrated edge at least. Can't fault them for their packaging. So there it is. Let me just clean up this little bit of mess I've built up around myself. Okay, so let's take a look at the watch. There's actually quite a stack of paperwork here. Looks like a warranty card. Customer service and more products. So here's another thing I should mention. I just found it on the site. So there's some sort of sub companies within Mercure. There's Mercure. There's this FOD, which is stands for Fly Over Darkness, kind of an interesting name. There is a uh, two or three other names. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but you'll see them if you go to the site. Some interesting paperwork here. Oh, here's a couple of the names, or at least one of the other names: Pierre Paulin. Or pollen. Some instructions and then a big, quite a large book here. All watches tell time, some tell a story. There's the Marine Master. I would like to get one of their Marine Master homages to compare it against mine at some point. The tuna, that which is right here, if I can find any pictures, I'll throw them up right now. The, I had a couple on loan from a friend the uh, tuna models and they were seriously well built watches um yeah cool so lots of reading materials there and here is the watch hang tag fell off so we've got quite the sporty chronograph so this is what I assumed the watch to have as a movement. This looks to be a seagull movement, which uh, they're quite nice looking movements, really. Um, I expect this to have sapphire. I sort of expected to have the seagull movement, which is an awesome movement. Let's see if we can get it going here. Yep. It's a pretty nice looking watch, really. 
All right, so I just wanted to get in for a bit of a closer look and excuse the last little cut, the last edit in the video. If it turns out kind of weird, my dog got a hold of a squeaky toy and I had to replace that with a chew toy so he would uh, quit making such a racket while we're trying to make this video. But anyway, so the closer I look at this watch, the more it makes me think Seagull 1963. I wish I still had mine, but I think the case is identical if not almost very close anyways the size very similar as well i believe this is going to come in at around 38 millimeters and uh yeah other than the dial it looks very much the same watch again i don't have mine to take a look but i'll maybe go through some photos and check that out before uh, doing the full video on the watch. I'm really liking this uh, sort of 70s racing style dial. It's a great looking watch. The price, I, I believe this is going to be after a 50 US dollar discount. It's going to come to 179 US dollars if you use the discount time to go. Now at the moment, these are not available on the site. As soon as I have that information, just double check in the description below and I'll put a link directly where you, you can find this watch. And I believe there's a couple of other variations. There's at least one other. There's a really nice green one. So just check the description and also I'll get all of that information before I do the full review. So let me give you guys a little look on wrist. All right, so I am really liking the look of this thing so far. Uh, feels very much like the 1963 on wrist, although the dial gives it a totally different look. The strap, I really like the look of this strap with the red arrow sort of stitch work and the red backing, but I'm not sure how well this will hold up over time. But uh, straps are easy enough to replace, and this would definitely be a fun watch to play around with different straps. So I have something kind of special planned for this watch, and I can't quite give it away right now, but it involves a good friend of mine uh, with another channel, Mad Rock Watches an Adventure. So for now, I just want to give his channel a shout out. Go over and take a look. He's got some great videos. He's been kind of my daily phone a friend when I'm bored uh, over this last uh, little lockdown period. But go give him a follow and uh, I'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the details of what I'm thinking here in an upcoming video. So that's going to be it for today. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thanks so much and be safe. Bye-bye. Mm.